This is 90.3 KEXP, where the music matters, and this is The Morning Show. I'm John Richards in our live room right now with Boy Azuga, great four-piece out of Wales, led by uh, our friend Davey Newington. Thanks for being here, Davey. Hey, John. Thanks for having us, man. Good to see you. You released your Davey full-length 1-2 Kung Fu, which is one of the better titled albums <laughs> I've heard recently. We'll talk a little bit about that. You're on a small tour in the U.S. You played uh, Barboza last night. That's right, yeah. And then heading down to Portland. That's it. All right. Well, I'm glad you stopped by here this morning. You ready to go? Thank you so much for having us. Of course. Boy Azuga live here on The Morning Show. It's all yours, fellas. Zuga live here on the morning show, a song I've heard here many times on KEXP. One of our favorites, One Two Kung Fu, the name of the album. The band's touring here in the U.S. Played Barboza last night, play Portland tonight, then down the coast it looks like, and back to Europe. And uh, so happy they could be here today. And they've, they're moving around. You guys ready? I love your Fraser shirt, by the way. <laughs> it's well played, well played. <laughs> I don't know. The view from his apartment, though, doesn't seem real. I don't know. Don't, don't believe it. Uh, Boy Azuga, live here on The Morning Show. Thank you. 
Azuga live here on The Morning Show. One, two, Kung Fu, the new album. And uh, great to have you fellas here. You played, as I mentioned last night. How was how was the show? Sunday night? It was great. Sunday night show. Yeah. Always hard. It was Yeah, it was fun, though. We had Good. the amazing support bands. Uh, I've completely gone blank now. <laughs> Beverly Crusher oh, okay. and Weep Wave. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Go so good show. They were class, yeah. Ah, great to hear that. And you were uh, you were touring before that over on the East Coast, correct? Yeah, that's How right. How were those shows? How was you, Brooklyn, Philly, Boston, I think? Yeah, they were amazing. We we kind of, we haven't really been uh, playing shows for that long. It's been about two years now or something. Yeah. So, yeah, just to be here and actually see one human at a gig is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been class. David, do you mind introducing the band as well? Of course, yeah. So we have Dad Davis on the drums. Good to see you. Dad plays uh, with bands Men on the Chessboard, Afro Cluster, sometimes Dark House Family. He's, yeah, incredible drummer in Cardiff. We have Dylan Morgan on the keys guitar and sometimes the vibraphone. We couldn't get it here. <laughs> Dylan has a project called DD Dorillo as well, which is coming on next year. And we have Sam Barnes on the bass and guitar and everything else. And Sam is Shoebox Orchestra. And yeah, he has an amazing record coming out next year as well. Wow, with them being so busy, how are you able to get yeah. everyone together to tour? I just kind of trap them. <laughs> <laughs> how long have, have you had these guys playing with you for... Uh, for um, the... It's been about two years now. Oh. We, 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 Dav and I were jamming a bit before. But yeah, we did our first gig in Cardiff in Club Eva Bark on the 8th of December, 7th of December, 2016. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been about two years. Can you talk a little bit more about your hometown and, and the music scene there? The support is it a, a a good community? Musicians? Yeah, it's amazing. There's loads of really really great artists and bands and everything there. There's a band called Buzzard Buzzard Buzzard, Sock Dark House Family, Esther, Rainbow Maniac. I shouldn't have started really, but there's like <laughs> loads of loads of great bands. Um, but you can find them all online. And um, yeah, it's it's amazing to be a part of this kind of like so many great venues and. The like local radio and stuff, people like Hugh Stevens, Adam Morton, Beth and Alvin, all them, they're like really supportive and getting played on the radio means obviously you know more than anyone, but if sure. you go to another place Doesn't hurt. and people that will have like, uh, you know, heard your tunes, it just makes it so much easier. So we're lucky to be from Cardiff. Where, uh, tell me a little bit about your family history. I know you, your fam- you have a family of musicians, right? Your mom and dad played? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And your granddad, right? My granddad as well. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? So my granddad um, was a drummer. And um, like a jazz drummer, and he, my dad grew up and played the violin. My mum is a clarinet player, and they, my mum and dad met in an orchestra basically in, in Cardiff. And yeah, I've just worked there since they were in their twenties and stuff. So growing up, my brother and sister play music as well. But growing up, there was just like always music in the house, and it was kind of encouraged. I was allowed to play. I used to play along to Queen 
on like a biscuit tin with cricket stumps. And they were very, uh, yeah, very patient with me because <laughs> it definitely didn't sound very good. Did you know, you know, it's, it, there's a lot going on in the record. I hate to just call it a rock record because there's, there's a lot going on. But it was, when did you head in that direction? Do you remember, was there a band that influenced you or was it, was it just having music around and that's where you focused your attention? I think it was kind of, um, yeah, a mixture of like getting into different bands. When, like I grew up loving people like the Beach Boys and stuff, but then kind of around 17, 18, really got into like obsessing over bands and stuff. And meeting Eddie Al Shikachi, who produced the record, that was definitely like a huge turning point for me because I'd always kind of written songs in my bedroom, but I was playing drums in other bands and that was kind of what I did most of the time. But then when I met Ed, I go up to his and he just completely blew my mind. He's, <laughs> he's a genius. He really is. He's like an amazing musician, producer and everything. And um, yeah, he kind of, I don't know, going up to, he, he lives on like a farm. And I'd go up to, to the farm quite late at night and we just work like all through the night. And he's got all these like incredible synthesizers and guitars. And yeah, he kind of, I don't know, he opened up my mind to everything. And That's we, great. It was such a pleasure making the record with him. Can you talk about the songs too? Do you have a song, like a song that goes way back on this record? You said you've been writing, like, what's the oldest song on this record? The oldest one, um, it's probably a song called Hangover Square. Yeah. I think I wrote that when I was about 19. Yeah. And so, yeah, I'm 27 now. So it's quite a while back. <laughs> did you change it at all or did it? <laughs> yeah, it, um, the, yeah, it kind of had a few lives, that song. And then it was cool actually because my dad, it's the song's about this book called Hangover Square. And my dad gave me the book when I moved out and then... Uh, he, he like loves the book and then when we did the record he played the strings on the song so it was kind of like a oh that's circle. great <laughs> I was and I was gonna ask like what are they what do your family think of the record but yeah. they're a part of it apparently I think they like it I yeah I would hope so <laughs> <laughs> they've heard enough of it to be honest when we was making it I would bounce it off like Dylan especially would play it to Dylan and then my girlfriend and then my mum and dad would hear it loads in the car and stuff and yeah kind of get feedback off them well when you came back with it when when it was done when you when you listened to it. Can, can you bring yourself back to when you started it? How, did it did it end up being the record you thought it would be? Was it different? Was it? I'm not sure, really. It was kind of like it. It didn't. Re I didn't. When I started doing it, I was kind of just going up to heads, and we were just experimenting and like having fun. It, it was never like a, it's going to be gonna this way. Album. Yeah. But oh, the more when I think we had about three or four songs, I was like, actually, it'd be really cool to make to make like a, a, an album. Um, and yeah, I remember seeing the Love and Mercy, the Brian Wilson biopic. And that film was really inspiring. Yeah. Watching him in the, well, not him, obviously, but like Paul Dano in the studio doing all of the stuff with the musicians and stuff. It was like, yeah, it was really inspiring. Well, it's a great record and, uh, it, and it deserves everyone's attention. One, two, Kung Fu from Boy Zuga. And uh, they're going to be, again, heading down to Portland tonight and then down to L.A., San Francisco, I think, and then off to Europe. Yeah. So good luck with your tour. We just wanted to say as well, like, thank you so much for having us on here because this is like a massive deal to us. It's like... I don't know, we'd be being like house parties or, or just have mates over on a Friday and KXP is always the thing. You'd be like, have you seen the new Gizzard session or whatever? And it's kind of like, yeah, so it's really weird to be here. I've seen these lights in my bedroom and all this stuff. Yeah. But yeah. And, really and the people it. you see behind these cameras right here, they were yeah, the ones yeah. filming all of that. No pressure or anything. Yeah. <laughs> see more bands than we have all combined. Yeah. Uh, Boy Zook is here live and, you know, other bands will be watching you. Uh, years from now, so it's terrifying. Yeah, it really is. I should YouTube tell you comments, man. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. Don't Scary read those place. ever. No, yeah. never, never, never. I, I, can, I can't even wear <laughs> anything where they commented. So I just go with a generic KXP sweatshirt now. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You guys ready? I think so. It's all yours.
Dusty, you know. Uh. Oh, Thank you. Boy, it's good. Live here on The Boarded Show. The only thing wrong with that song is too short, man. <laughs> it should be longer. I love it so much. Loner Boogie, one of our favorites here at KEXP. Thank you, fellas. Thank you so, Thank much. You so much. Yeah, safe travels down to Portland and the rest of the tour. And uh, I look forward to the next record as well. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Oh, yeah, no, we're making it now. Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate to ask that when we're... No, yeah, it's all good. Okay. Yeah. You're working on it. <laughs> yeah. I'll leave it at that. No more pressure than that. Huge thank you to our staff here, as always, our volunteers, and all of you who support KXP. Keep us independent and allow us to champion bands like this each and every day here at Listener Powered KEXP. I'm out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.